إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مضل له وما يتلل فلا حادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أوصيكم وإيا يا أولا تقوا الله فقد فاز المتقون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته to all the brothers and sisters alhamdulillah we hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower his blessing and mercy upon all of us. We know that all of us are good people. We believe that we are good people. Everyone was born fitra, clean, pure and good. We want to be good. And because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have said that among all his creation, human being is the best creation of Allah. Ahsanu khaliqin. Yeah? Or they say, Ahsanu taqwim. Also, the, is, we are created by Allah in the best form. So we will believe that, inshallah, we can be good. We want to be a good leader, inshallah. We want to be a good father, inshallah. We want to be a good mother, we want to be a good son, we want to be a good businessman, we want to be a good follower, we want to be a good student, of course. Everybody always, uh, always aim to be good. Every one of us want to be good and we are working towards to be good. We are aiming to be good. And the most important thing is to make sure that we have a good ending. Because sooner or later, we have to go back to Allah. Whether you are prepared, whether you are not prepared, you have to go home to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our home is not here. This is our transit. Our real home is in Al-Akhirah. So we would like to remind and call upon all the brothers and sisters, the weaver. All the weaver let us look into our lives seriously before it's too late. Let us start to make plan towards how to become a true good person. Now, good according to Islam may differ from good according to what we think. Now, let us look in through the Islamic point of view. What do we understand by good? Good means a person who always try their best to obey Allah's do and don't, Allah's command. Whatever Allah wants us to do is for our own good. Allah do not want to burden us with anything except for our own good. And also, how to be a proper person with the right and good conduct, then we should look into Prophet Muhammad as the best example. The man who had the most refined conduct. A man that you can trust, trustworthy, a man of siddiq, that means he's a man who always speak the truth. He never lie, he never cheat anybody in his lifetime, and he's a good leader, he's a good father, he's a good husband, mashallah. So if we look into his uh, personal life, then we can get all the good examples. And that's why Allah said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Indeed, in the life of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, you have the best example, the best conduct for all of us to follow. Now, in the meantime, we know that life is changing very fast from year to year. Look at the year 2012 have, have left us and now we are entering 2013 and we do not know what is waiting for us in 2013 only Allah knows best but we are sure the challenge of 2013 is greater than the 2012 
so we get to be more prepared physically, mentally, and spiritually. So it's not just the new year that we are talking about. We also have to renew our faith. Renewing one faith as a Muslim is not like you are changing from one faith to another faith, no. But you are changing from a weak iman to a strong iman. Jadidu iman, no kum, that's where our prophet said. Recharge your iman, renew your iman. Now, how to strengthen our iman? The best way to strengthen our iman, you must have the right belief. The right knowledge of believing in one true God, the Creator, Allah Rabbul Alameen. You must have the right belief. And to have that right belief, brother and sister, you must have the right knowledge. And the knowledge must from the Quran and the saying of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Not just from anybody, not because our tradition or majority people say this. No, no. It's not like that. Make it very clear. It's from Allah. Nobody can understand Allah better than what Allah has talked about Himself through His book, Al Quran Al Karim. And how the Prophet has explained to the people about Allah. And don't, nobody can say he know Islam more than Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So, the best for us to do now is to strengthen our Iman by following the Quran guideline and the saying of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we will never go wrong, inshaAllah. Now, how to become a better Muslim, inshaAllah. The most important thing is our attitude. The way we think and what is in our heart, that must change first. We must be more committed, more serious with our deen. Because that's how you become a better person. Because what Islam wants us to do is to become a better person. And Islam is here to guide you how to become the best. Like what Allah said, Kuntum khaira umma, you're the best. Only if you know what you must do, to maintain as the best ummah to yourself and also to your family and the community. Because we have responsibility to ourselves. To be good to yourself, you must make sure you only eat good food, halal quality and good food, halal and tayyiba. You only drink, drink drinks that is good for you. And you also must choose the good environment. Everything must be good. If you want to look for a job, look for a good job. That's what we want sometimes. A job that do not make us doing things against Allah, displeasing Allah. No. Even the salary is, is low, but if it's pleasing Allah, there's more barakah. That's what we choose. If you want to have a good partner, you do not want to have just a partner in life that cause a lot of unrest to you. We want all the good things. But we must work towards the good thing. That is why we are here to remind all the good brothers and sisters who are following this program. Yeah? Al Qadim, on the behalf of Al Qadim, we'd like to wish all of you yeah, the best yeah, in the future. And also that we come into year 2013 with the right spirit, right intention, that you want to be a better person. No more the 2012. But 2013 now. So with new spirit, new commitment, you know, you have the right knowledge about the right aqidah, your ibadah, your prayer, or not just ritual, but you understand the value, you know the, the, the significance, yeah, the significance of the salah, the importance of salah together, and following the Prophet Wasallam. and if you fast, inshallah, you know the significance of fasting, and the value of fasting, everything, there is value and significance, not just ritual. And we believe that, brother and sister, we can do it. Once you understand what you must do to yourself to be good, and how to be a good person to other people. To be a good person, you must carry out your mission, Amal Ma'ruf and Nahi Munkar. This is called the Holy Mission. The heavenly mission, the mission of all prophets and messengers of Allah. 
that is calling people back to Allah, to the truth, and forbid them, stop them from doing anything that is against the truth. This is our mission. You must know your mission, brother and sister. And the best way to carry out this great mission, we do it together in a jama'ah with the right intention Lillahi ta'ala to please Allah not for any worldly gain brother and sister if there is still in your mind what I do I want to see what do I profit from how much do I gain from this kind of thing you don't do that you're going to be a loser if you do with the right intention inshallah we will have a good ending and lastly brother and sister we know that one of the best du'a, a good du'a, is du'a that the Prophet loved to recite. And one of them is, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil aqirati hasana wa qina azab nar Now let us recite this du'a together. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil aqirati hasana wa qina azab nar Amin, Ya Rabbil Alamin. So we are asking Allah, brothers and sisters, to give us good life. Rabbana atina fi dunya in this world. So when you ask Allah to give you something good, you must work towards what you ask from Allah. Make sure that now you are eating the good food, you are drinking the good drink, you are doing all the good amal, and you have a good environment. Always work towards that. Then only Allah will respond to our prayer because we ask Him and we are not working towards it. That means we are not serious. Be serious before dua. And also we ask Allah to give us good life in the hereafter, in akhirah. And save us from all the problem in this world and the torment in the hellfire in akhirah. We believe that if we are committed into this, inshallah, we become more positive than negative, more constructive than destructive, more active than passive. Inshallah, at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, we are sure to become a better person. And at the end of the day, we believe, all of us, inshallah, who are very serious with this commitment, who really want to serve Allah for the sake of Allah. And when you do something for Allah, you give the best to Allah, not just, uh, as long as I do it, no, you're serious about it. We are sure to have a good ending. And this is the prayer that I also like to share with all of us. Yeah, And inshallah, we hope you can follow me to recite this prayer. And this prayer is very short. Allahumma khtim lana bi husnil khatimah. Allahumma khtim lana bi husnil khatima Allahumma khtim lana bi husnil khatima Meaning we are asking Allah, O oh Allah, give our ending a good ending. Not just any ending. We want to have a good ending. And may Allah help us to have a good ending. So Al-Qadim would like to wish every one of you, yeah, the best and also we wish, we wish that all of us will have a good ending so whoever who are in Malaysia keep us in contact and look into what program that we are having so that we can strengthen our iman and help us each other yeah, to become a better person inshallah for those who are far from us we hope that inshallah if we don't see you here we see you in the hereafter in al akhirah amin ya rabbil alamin wa bil tawfiq wal aqr da'wana walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh ashhadu an la